Alright, yeah, welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. So we are going right on back in, and we're gonna go Ascension 1 with this silent. We're gonna do Ascension, and we're gonna win. I'm telling you now, this is the one. Oh yeah, there's been an update, by the way. The art's different. Um, Alright, let's go. Shoes. Remove a card from our deck is probably the one I'm gonna go for. This one has failed me many times in a row. It's fun, but it has failed me. So... Ooh, lose old gold for two card removed. You know, I might actually go for that. 99 gold. It's 75 in a shop to remove it, so remove one card. So we get this, and we get a slightly more expensive shop card removal. And then all we have to do is just dodge one of these shops, really. Wow. So we're guaranteed to hit an elite no matter what. Looks like I'm going like this path, though. That seems to have the extra campfire on it. But we'll get to that in a second. First of all, let's spend all of our stuff. We want to get rid of a strike and a defend. Keep that deck nice and even. And let's head on out. So, we've got one here, which matches up here. Then we've got an extra one. An extra one, an extra one. Okay, so we definitely want the right-hand path. Yeah. As long as it hits one of these two... And this, we're good to go. So, we've kind of got our plan all laid out for us. Let's get going. Don't want to go this way because we have no money anymore. So let's try to not take any damage here because we do have to deal with um, the elite guaranteed this time around. Okay, pass the turn. No point blocking. So he's going to strengthen up, but he'll be dead next turn most likely, I don't think. We can not draw two strikes to kill him here. And then we've got to deal with you afterwards, which I think is okay. You have weakened me, you meanie. So actually, we're one damage short. Ridiculous. Wow. Okay. So we take seven. First bit of damage. It's unavoidable, though. There's absolutely no way we could have prevented that. Just... A natural progression for RNG to happen, you know. Give me my strikes. Thank you. There we go. Seven damage for a fight, though. It's not awful. Okay. I think it's Dagger Spray. The rest of these are not terribly good. I'll never really take Bane. I just don't find it that impressive, to be perfectly honest. Flying Knees is pretty cool, but we're not set into an energy build just yet. And this is an AoE, which we're currently lacking, so... Fill that gap right there. See, this is 8 damage now to both of them. So it's 16 damage total as opposed to the 6 right here. So, very good stuff. We can then point... I kind of want to point the neutralizer at you. Um, just to reduce that. Actually, we don't need to reduce that damage. Because we can block it here. So, do that and then survivor for 8 block. And we've blocked it all. I think he adds wounds to our deck. Is that what he does? Oh, yeah. They've changed it now. Make them more thematically appropriate. They've actually added slimed instead. And these exhaust. Do they exhaust when you pay for them? I'm not sure. It's got an energy cost, so I would assume so. Either way, it's interesting, it's new, and I like anything that is interesting. And new is an upside. Okay. Uh... Probably Quick Slash, if I was to take any of them. I don't think I want to take any of them, though. I mean, Quick Slash is essentially two extra points on a strike and a redraw. I don't know how much the redraw really helps us right now. We could cycle through our deck quicker, but we're at 11 cards in our deck, and I'd kind of like to keep it low for the most part. Just a little worried that we might be underpowered when we actually get to the Elite. I'm going to take the question mark. I think two fights and a question mark that could just be a fight anyway. It's probably a little bit better. Trigger the trap and get the golden idol. So we can get injury, take 17, I'll lose 5 max HP. Don't really like this with the silent because you just don't really uh, gain too much life on a run. So I'd rather save it for card removal but it's going to last us the entire way up here. Which I don't think it's terrible. We got Survivor, we can discard with it, but it doesn't do anything. 
So I think I'll just take injury. Okay. Or is that five will stick with us forever and be awful. So we'll bring that 11 down to a manageable eight. So we can block it all there. And then this actually works out more. And a strike. Pass the turn. Take no damage. Our opponent is at just over half of their health. Which is a good place to be. We get one strike, which sucks. This is not the particular turn I want to see an all block hand. We've actually been kind of unlucky with the balance of our hands recently. The shuffler just seems to give us uh, not really a mixture of strikes and blocks. In this particular case, we got our injury back on the shuffle. So that's the thing. So I'm just going to block all of his damage. No reason to take more health loss. Not just yet, anyway. Oh, I really wanted to see the neutralize there. Okay, well, we're going to survive her. I think we're just going to do... Get rid of the strike. Do I want to block an extra five? Or do I want to hit him for six? It's a neutralize and a defend in there. I guess I'll block and take one. Hope that he gives us the opportunity to really destroy him here. Hopefully the Shuffler will give us lots of attacks here. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad. You know, virtually lethal isn't terrible, right? Okay, so he blocks, but we should get strikes enough to kill him. Just two strikes will do it. There you go. Wonderful. Alright, that went quite well. Prepared and a footwork. We take the footwork... It's usually good in every single build for the silent, because defense is usually the uh, cornerstone of most of his runs. So let's dagger spray. Here we again. Lots of damage involved. We'll block five of the six, and then we'll focus down on one of them. I probably want to try and dagger spray them both at the last minute, if we can help it, because of the, of course, the vulnerable is very annoying. So, I can go Footwork, Survivor for 10, Scar the Defend, Defend, and then bring you down to even. Attacks for 12, we block him for 17. Not bad. If we can keep doing this for the rest of the battle, we'll be in a good spot. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that did right. There we go. Exactly, he's on both. So, we were right to even him out there. Ooh, Storm of Steel. Discard your hand. Add one shiv to your hand for each card discarded. Ooh. Okay, so we could be a draw deck that draws all of its deck into your hand to its max hand size and then Storms of Steel to get loads of shivs. Maybe a discard strategy as well employed into that. Yeah, let's do that. We've got our path. And it's an all-out attack kind of uh, situation as well. So what does this do? Adds one upgraded shiv instead. Yeah, let's do that. I like this. So we need discard synergies, and we preferably need some way of drawing to a full hand size. So, what I'm going to do is neutralize. We're going to strike because... Oh, actually, how much is an upgraded Shiv's damage? I actually don't know. But I'm going to strike anyway. So, let's remember six damage on the strike. What's the upgraded Shiv's damage? Ah, six. Awesome. Awesome. It's really nice for those turns when you draw all blocks, you know, when you've got all of the defense in your hand, you just really need to get some damage done. I mean, right now I was really hoping for that all block hand, but there you go. Get that dagger spray in there for eight, pass the turn. Probably should think about using the strength potion, actually. If that storm of steel comes back around, I might do that. Hmm. Need to do some... In fact, I think we are going to Strength Potion now, because I'm thinking of 
blocking 14 of this 18 just to preserve my life total a little bit. We do have two campfires, but I'd rather not use them for resting. We've got these two question marks I'd prefer to try and get some health back from. So adding the strength potion just means this one strike that I'm going to do does a little bit more, gets a little bit further. Alright, so this should be the Storm of Steel hand, right? No, the next one is. Fair enough. Alright, well, all out attack. He's going to reduce our attack a little bit. But he's essentially just resetting it back. Hmm. Okay. So, let's neutralize him. And you might as well just do this. Boop, boop, boop. He's at 15. We are going to take 13, unfortunately, but we are set up to destroy him. Where did I get this strength upgrade from? I don't remember. Huh. Well, you're dead anyway. Come out of it with 33 life, so... Ooh, bronze scales is quite nice. Hey, shivs. Shiv strategies. That also works for me. It's also something that will leave our hand and uh, not dilute our deck. I also like the backflip as well, but I think the three additional damage for shivs is really the way to go here. So let's take this campfire and five additional damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Does this do something different anymore? Where did I get... Oh, oh, I was using a strength potion. I'm an idiot. It's like, where's that two strength come from? Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Okay. So, let's rest here then, I guess. We do need to. It's not going to take us to full health either, which... Six block and a shiv. I think that's what we want to go for. The thing is, I think we need to decide whether or not we want to go heavy shivs, which is kind of currently what we're going with, or we go the draw and discard route where we draw our deck and then do our thing. But none of these cards actually help that draw and discard option. So I think I'm going to take the cloak and dagger just because we'll be going for a ship build. And I think I'll take the question mark. Ooh, find loot. 25% of the monster returns. Let's do it. Found some gold. One more time. Ah! <laughs> uh, never, I never take that 50% and I shouldn't have done it there either. That was a mistake. Okay, well, we're not taking any damage here. We also have the 10 damage to everything, so... It's not the worst situation we find ourselves in. Survivor and injury. And then let's work down the highest health one, I guess. So whenever they hit us, they actually take three damage. We are going to get some dazed into our deck, but that is actually going to be really bad for us, because if we want the Shiv, the Storm of Steel, it's essentially going to discard the uh, dazed instead of doing what we want to do. I think I cloak and dagger still. We just get two shivs. See, that's not too great. But I think that's the path that we have to take because we can't take no damage here. Uh, we can't take 16. I mean, I could discard this shiv to get. Oh no! God damn it! It's fine. It's fine. You didn't see anything. I just completely forgot how much energy we actually had. Alright, let's just focus on you then, I guess. That was silly of me. Good explosive potion, I think I will. So we only take two now. Why did I not look at my energy? Or even just think about it for a second. Sometimes I tunnel vision, what can I say? Okay, well... The neutralize itself is going to get negated, but I mean we can footwork, block all but one of it, and then get a strike in as well. 
We'll do it on you. Hit you a little bit. Even you out. Because that dagger spray might be able to finish you both off. If we ever find it. Okay, well, cloak and dagger. Nine damage on a shiv now, which is pretty good. We can kill one of you and almost kill the other. So, let's do nine here. Hit you there. Hit you there. Take nothing. And then just one more strike slash shiv and we're good to go. He actually just kills himself as well along the way. Yeah, 11 damage shivs. Did you look at that? If your HP is full, gain energy at the start of each turn. Possible on the next floor. Probably not going to happen this time around. So I think backflip for the card advantage is probably a, a decent choice. Take on the next dude. Slaver. What's your deal again? I can't quite remember. Well, let's neutralize his 7 down to a measly 5, which means this block is actually pretty effective. We'll bring the shivs up to an extra 5 damage as well when we eventually get there. And we'll block, and we'll dagger spray. Decent turn, if I do say so myself. So he's applied weakness to us, but our shivs were doing 11, so what they're doing now. I don't think they're doing lethal. So I'm just going to cloak and dagger, and then I'm going to storm of steel. Eight. Close. He's dead on the swing though, so we take a bit of damage. But... Calculate gamble. Don't like it. It's not really gonna work for us. Crippling poison's a bit too expensive. Not really synergistic. Poison stab. Effective, but not synergistic. We'll leave it. Do I want to take on another elite? It involves me taking on another fight straight after. I don't think I do. This guy is uh, very annoying. One of you guys mentioned as well that I shouldn't... Um, Give me I shouldn't heal at the last one because this guy scales for your health uh, unless you're on death star which we're kind of at so it's kind of why I took it there because I probably still want to rest it's a good question mark right so start of each combat heal whenever you play a power heal choose an attack card be in your hand I think this uh, thing's a skill yes it is that all of the relics not very useful draw two cards put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile and exhaust I like this card this works for me uh, what else eviscerate kind of works for the discard it'd be free most of the time straight after our shiv storm hmm I think we're gonna take thinking ahead I don't know what this does when we upgrade it, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Then card removal. Do we want to remove a card? Yes, we want to get rid of that. Injury. Goodbye, injury. And we're done. Alright. So, 34 health. I'm going to rest. Another accuracy. You kind of got it, right? Double accuracy. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, boss time. Okay. So I think this is the setup turn since we don't have our shiv shenanigans. So let's get some shiv shenanigans going. And we'll strike you. Pass the turn. So he's gonna suit up and he's gonna give us a strike of his life. Bronze scales are kind of useful here, but what I'd really like to see is a lot of defense. So let's think ahead. Put a card on top of your draw pile. Let's go with... 
the footwork. I think. Oh, I don't really want to take all this damage, but I kind of want a Cloak and Dagger and then Storm of Steel. Which then, footwork doesn't work into that, and I kind of need this set up, though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it on top. Okay, so Cloak and Dagger. We're gonna use this shiv and discard it for an upgraded shiv instead. And then 11, 11, 11, and 11. It's a lot of damage. So is that, though. But every time he does that, he takes three, so we're down to 31, which is what we were at before we, uh, <laughs> before we rested. So let's do that. Let's get the accuracy. Now shivs are worth eight extra. Let's reduce that down to four and block. Really love to see our storm card come right on back. Come on. Nope. Okay. Hitting us for ten. That's blockable. So let's dagger spray you for eight. Let's survivor. Uh for the full ten. And then let's strike you. So we take nothing, he takes another six. That's pretty good. Six coming back. And we get the storm of steel, which we are going to use because he's got a burn and of course big strikes. I'm happy to take the six if I can deal fourteen per shiv. Would you look at that? Small deck size is really coming in handy here. We do need to kill him before he gets to his ultimate, though. So, let's... Let's backflip, because we got no attacks. I was hoping for the storm. But, didn't find it. So, let's just get that shiv out of there. Normal, up unupgraded shiv. Worth 12 damage. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. He's on 62 and halfway to his next insane attack. He has strengthened up though and is blocking 14 he's hitting us for. Wow. Wow, that's really bad. Couldn't get worse than that and there's literally no point hitting his armor. So we deal the 12. That is a shocking hand. That actually might kill us. We're at 14 now. Okay, these are 14 apiece. Hmm. I think that's enough? It's certainly enough on the next turn, right? I'm pretty sure. It's exactly enough. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, 103 gold and unload. Discard all cards, all non attack cards. That doesn't really work for us, but Tactician, on the other hand is beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of equipment right there. Unfortunately, once we've discarded our hand, the energy is a little bit useless, so we'd need something like Unceasing Top in order to gain advantage that way. Yeah. It's not actually the best thing, now that I think about it. I don't know if we still take it, though. Even the burst, like, the burst, all it does is just copy the storm. And we just discard the same shivs for the same shivs, so that also doesn't really work for us. So I think on cards that really work, this is kind of bad for us. We really wanted the um, the energy card draw one. That's name escapes me. The auto include in most decks. But, I mean, if we get, like, um, prepared or something like that, we can draw and discard it. Still get energy that way. Survivor as well as a free block with Tactician. We're going to enjoy that all the same energy and then whenever you open a non-boss chest you get a curse uh ooh, runic done he's just asking to die and uh, no longer gain gold so i'm torn do i want to no longer gain gold or do i want to have well we're a discard deck so the curses shouldn't be too difficult to deal with right plus if we're gaining gold which we have the golden idol as well to gain extra then we don't really want ectoplasm unless we get rid of this and this turns into a special one. I can't remember what it does though, but it doesn't give you gold. I'm going to take Curse Key anyway. Extra energy. Always good. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then be sure to like, subscribe and hit that little bell icon as well, which will give you notifications when the videos go live. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.